A new book weaves an elaborate science fantasy through a fabric of injustice. Pat LaMarche from Carlisle is joining us this morning for an author spotlight. She's sharing more about her book. It's a fiction book, Cursed Kids. Okay, let's talk about this book, what it's about. Uh, well, it's about a couple of really nice, lovable kids and their parents, and they're um, from this archipelago somewhere maybe in the future or on a different planet. Uh, there are a lot of similarities to, um, you know, America, mm -hmm. but there are a lot of differences too. And they, um, they live in a society that's very unequal, so they, are, they have nowhere to live. They have no home and the people that have all the money have all the control. So yeah, it's, it's real life. Yeah, I was gonna say, it, it really mirrors a lot of real life. Where did the idea come from? Well, um, you know, I've been a homeless advocate for decades yes. and um, my poor family has to listen to that all the time and now the next generation does. And my grandson, who was eight at the time, um, found out that 10 of the kids in his school are experiencing homelessness, 10 right. kids in his elementary school. And uh, he was talking to my daughter, his aunt, and he said, um, I want to write a book about a couple of kids that finally get a home. And um, Becky said, my daughter said, well, let's call Grummy, that's why I am, and, yeah. uh, and see if she'll write it with you. So we did, we yeah. wrote, my grandson and I wrote it together. That's right, your daughter's like, I know somebody, I know somebody. <laughs> Is this book similar to others or different? It's really different. I mean, all the all the social justice stuff that's in like the Priscilla series and the other books, that's all there. But I'm basically a journalist. I've spent my life as a journalist, so I write what I see. Uh, I never ran into a magic cat before. I never ran into a uh, special <laughs> vacuum cleaning robot. You know, if people have vacuum cleaning, well, we Doctor, kind of do. Yeah, right? and, we kind and, of do. Yeah, Dr. Marmalade modifies it so it becomes his best friend. So there's this talking, walking, cleaning ro robot. You know, it, it's just full of crazy fantasy stuff that I would, and that's all my grandson. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. good for him. Yeah. I want to talk yeah. about the illustrator, too. Tell yeah. me about the illustrator. Erin Rook, she's amazing. If people are familiar with her work, there are murals all over Harrisburg that she has done. Uh, there's one at Third and Her. Um, She's just an incredible artist. She's got a lot of murals in Carlisle as well. Uh, and um, I've always wanted to do a book with her. Um, the foundation that publishes our books have always wanted to do a book with her, and it finally clicked. Um, my grandson is Japanese. My daughter-in-law is Japanese. And so Erin is a, um, a Korean young woman, and she really could draw pictures the way uh, she and my grandson identify, and that's really important that we have this multicultural presence in our in our literature and in our art. So it was all just fantastic. Clearly, your message is being heard. It's being heard by your grandson. So it's just terrific what you're doing. How can people get this book? CursedKids.com. It's available everybody everywhere. Walmart, Barnes and Noble, all those big bad guys. And then go to your local. Of course, go to your local bookstore, uh, and all the proceeds go to help people. And I should ask, is this a book specifically for children to read, or is it a book for everybody to read? Like, who is this geared toward? Um, I think it's f so fanciful. Um, some of my other stuff is just sort of grown-up talk, made yeah. young and, and, and friendly. This book, I think, is more uh, young adult and young people. But I mean, if you're young at heart, if you, I'm a Star Trek fan, I suppose you could love anything yeah. with a well, magic And you robot. wrote it, so obviously it's interesting <laughs> to you, right? Yeah. Thank you, Pat. You're going to be back later in the show to talk about something else, Blankets of Hope, with us, so yeah. stay with us. Um, and if you're a local author, you can be in our author spotlight too. Visit gooddaypa.com, click on Be a Guest. And while you're there, you can check out other author segments. Click Author Spotlight under our quick links. We'll be right back.